If you're looking to get super powerful to juice either your player character or a party member, then we have you covered because this awesome item is obtainable from the very start of the game within the Nautiloid before it crashes. There's a few tips and tricks that make this dramatically easier to obtain, so hopefully we can make it simple for you guys. The item is the Everburn Blade, a great sword with a whopping 2d6 slashing and 1d4 fire damage, which is incredible considering you will permanently have this item from level 1, and not only does it look awesome, but around the next few levels this is going to be very strong. The description of the weapon is that a silent flame surges the length of the blade as soon as it clears the scabbard hence its awesome looking flame effect and damage. This comes as a drop from defeating Commander Zolk at the very beginning of the last encounter on the Nautiloid and is missable if you don't defeat him or use a trick to get him to drop it so it's even easier. The simple but hardest way is to literally kill him. You do have the Mind Flayer helping you but for level 1 characters this is quite a challenge as he has 150 HP and will one shot you if the Mind Flayer dies. So it can be very RNG heavy on hoping that the allied Mind Flayer hits every turn and that the commander misses a few times, along with hoping that all of your own hits attack which is a very low chance at this level. It's possible with a few tries and getting a bit lucky, so you can brute force this to defeat him, however do take note that once he is dead the Mind Flayer will turn against you and there are backup demons that will try and join the fight after several turns, so you don't have infinite time to do this. But by killing him you also get the scale male armor which is a nice upgrade depending on your character. However within the Nautiloid if you make sure to free Shadowheart so she joins your party you can actually go into your inventory menu and then into the spell book and change one of her spells to the command spell. This is perfect because you can issue the command drop to an enemy which makes them drop their weapon on the floor. This works on the commander and once he's dropped it you can have someone else in your party then pick it up and then you have it for yourself. It's a chance to succeed and for me was 55%, so keep casting it or reload your save file if you run out of spell slots. Once you successfully cast it on him though, have somebody yoink the sword and then run for the console without even needing to actually kill him and finish him off. You can also use the glowing Nautiloid tanks by moving them near him each turn, then igniting them with a fire spell or cantrip to blow them up. But honestly, the command spell is by far the fastest and easiest way, so I recommend trying this. And once you leave the Nautiloid, you then have this sword to either equip on your character, or it is a perfect item for Lazelle, as this will absolutely juice her damage through the roof from the regular sword that she's currently wearing by default. So now one of your characters is juiced up with an awesome looking flaming sword. But have you found any interesting powerful items that you want to share? Tell us in the comments down below so we can all learn together as a community. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably gonna like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.